Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you part two of the maze thing. Okay, so you can remember that we created the, the can go. So, variable, so let's go when the flag is clicked forever. If so if so if if else sorry guys if touching color no I don't want to run it if touching color what then go then Set can go to false. Else, set can go to true. Now with that we've done that, we have to go over to the maze sprite. Let's actually name it maze so it's easier. Maze and player. Now we're going to use that as a detector. Now we can do if else if. can go equals to true then do that otherwise go to x zero y zero now let's try it and then we go back here and now it works now to make the game more fun let's go edit the maze but first let's actually put it in the middle I forgot about that we really need to have it in the middle guys if it's not in the middle it doesn't It doesn't like so when you start it doesn't actually start in the middle so let's just stick that there make sure the players in the middle just remember you, sh you should watch part one first so let's go back 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 equals actually but now that we've done that just to make yep yeah, it's in the middle it's definitely in the middle now we can go to the maze make it more interesting by doing this maybe Maybe let's see if we can get them to get out of this. Okay. And it's now the video it will end soon. In about 21 seconds. So do as much as you can before I remove, while I start recording. You can do it while I'm going. So thank you guys for watching the video. Remember to watch part three. Thank you guys. Thanks.